Hey and welcome to the Daily Man United News Show. Let's begin with our daily news. Man United hoping to offload Anthony Martial this summer. Manchester United are hoping to offload Anthony Martial as they look to recoup funds for the purchase of a new attacker, the Telegraph reports. The Frenchman has spent nearly seven years at the club, registering 79 goals and 50 assists from 269 appearances across all competitions. Over the past 18 months, his importance in the team has waned, and it's now reported that he could head for the exit door this summer. United are looking to reinforce their attack for next season. Martial is one of those who is considered dispensable during the transfer window. Martial had an impressive 19-20 season with United, making 35 goal contributions. He was touted to become the leader of the attack, however, nothing of that sort has happened. His performances dipped in the following season. He has since failed to nail down a starting role. The 26-year-old was loaned out to Sevilla in January this year with the chance to turn around his fortunes, but the stint was hardly successful with one goal and one assist from 12 outings. Martial's current deal with United expires in June 2024, but there is an option for another year. The club may want to cash in, but it may not be straightforward with his hefty wage package. He's presently one of the highest earners at £250,000 a week, and it's unlikely that any club will meet that figure, considering his average run of form over an extended period of time. The best solution could be another loan deal, with United paying part of his wages. James Garner ready to impress Eric Ten Hag James Garner is aiming to win over a new Manchester United boss Eric Ten Hag in pre-season. The England under-21 star said, That's the plan, that's what I'd like to do, go on pre-season and impress. It's down to me as a player to impress him and hopefully make a mark. Garner is yet to talk with his new gaffer yet, but feels his fits this term have put to bed any doubts about whether he could handle the physicality of the senior game. The Bayrican head boy said, Before I went on loan, there were questions of am I physically ready to compete, to play first team football, and I believe that I've shown that this season. Not only playing a lot of games, but how I've held my own in a such a tough league, and men's football, you know, I think I've shown that. I've not spoken to Ten Hag yet. I literally came from the playoff final straight to England, so I've had no rest, no break, just been football. Football, so I've not spoken to anybody at the club. It's time for rest now, and I'm not sure what the future holds. Forrest may well try to sign Gardner again on loan this term after going up. One thing seems certain, the youngster wants to be playing in the big league next season. He added, I feel like last season, my career has only just started, I'm still young, just turned 21 a couple of months ago. I've had such a good season this season, with the national team and at club level as well. It's very important now to hopefully play in the Premier League next season. Eric Ten Hag wants to offer Facundo Pellestri another chance at Manchester United, according to Manchester Evening News via Mirror. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag wants to offer Uruguayan winger Facundo Pallestri another chance to prove his worth at Old Trafford. The 20-year-old winger joined Man United in 2020 from Penarol and has since then be and has since then been loaned out to Deportivo Alaves two seasons in a row. Whilst he has continued his development in La Liga, he's yet to be given a chance to prove his worth in a Red Devils shirt. The Uruguayan starlet has played 23 times for the La Liga side this season, but has failed to score or assist any goals across all competitions. Whilst he may not have produced the output in terms of goal and assist, he has indeed gained some valuable game time. Pellestri is set to return to Old Trafford once his loan spell with the Spanish club ends and Eric Ten Hag is apparently keen on giving the talented Uruguayan another chance. United have plenty of positions to improve in ahead of next season, but one place where they are relatively well stocked is the winger positions. In Alejandro Garnacho and Amad Diallo, the Red Devils have two of the most talented young wingers in the Premier League, and Facundo Pellestri, who is of a similar age group, could be yet another addition to the list. The Uruguayan was very highly rated when he came to the club in 2020, but things haven't exactly panned out as expected. Regardless, 
The fact that he gained valuable game time is a good thing for the talented winger. The least that can be done is to give Facundo Pellestri a chance to prove himself. If he takes it, he could have a role to play next season. Man United have suffered £1.3 billion drop in value since October last year. The value of Manchester United has dropped by a significant 47% since the middle of October last year, Manchester Evening News reports. The Red Devils saw a peak in their share value in September last year. Manchester United PLC, public limited company, were trading at $20.74 after the sensational return of Cristiano Ronaldo, which coincided with the good start of the season. The share price went in to settle around $16.3 in October, but there has since been a constant dip. At the closure on June 13, a single share was valued at $11.07, which is apparently an all-time low. The significant 47% dip means that United's overall value has dropped by a staggering £1.3 billion. It's not surprising, considering the poor end to the season and the expected summer rebuild. The Glazer took around £11 million out of the club in January. They are expected to take another share of the vended payments on June 24, despite the club reporting last month that their net debt had increased by 11.8%. This has been a prime reason behind the protest from some fans. The criticism won't go away, but hopefully, the Glazers can back new manager Eric Ten Hag with sufficient funds to turn around the club's fortunes. Manchester United to bid for Wolves midfielder Ruben Neves According to 90 Minute, Manchester United are set to make a bid for talented Portuguese midfielder Ruben Neves from Wolves. Neves had joined Wolves from Porto in 2017 and has since then gone on to become one of the most promising midfielders in the Premier League. The Portuguese midfielder is extremely talented and one of Wolves' most important players. The 25-year-old has played 36 games for Bruno Lage team this season, scoring four goals and providing two assists across all competitions. With a contract that expires in 2024, Wolves will have to sell him this summer if they want to make maximum value for their prized asset. Joao Polina is expected to join Wolves imminently, and this is expected to pave the way for Man United to bid for the talented midfielder very soon. It's no secret that the midfield is an area that the Red Devils will have to improve this summer, and Ruben Neves could be an option. It's no secret that United are being linked with a move for Frankie de Jong for quite some time now, and the Barcelona man is probably their priority with regards to signing in the midfield area for next season. Pairing the Dutchman with Ruben Neves could just be the perfect midfield, however, for the Red Devils. The Portuguese can be more restrained and play a deeper role, giving De Jong the chance to play further forward. It remains to be seen if United manage to pull a deal off for the talented Portuguese midfielder, but it will definitely be a great signing. Manchester United urged to sign Declan Rice, even if he cost £120 million. Speaking in an interview as quoted by Mirror, Steve Bates has urged Manchester United to sign West Ham midfielder Declan Rice even if the English midfielder cost around £120 million. Declan Rice progressed through the West Ham youth ranks before breaking into the first team in 2017. He has since then gone on to establish himself as one of the best midfielders in the Premier League and has been the Hammers' most influential player. The 23-year-old holding midfielder has played 50 times for David Moyes' side this season, scoring 5 goals and providing 4 assists across all competitions. The English midfielder has forget a great partnership with Thomas Susek at the base of the Hammers midfield. Steve Bates is of the opinion that the Red Devils must pay money for Declan Rice without his station and bring him to Old Trafford. Right now, he's looking the bee's knees and has delivered one of the first phase of his potential, emerging as a future leader of men, whatever the color of their shirt. Little wonder that Manchester United, among others, would all take the central midfield Dynamo in a heartbeat, even if a £120 million price tag is eye-watering, David said. It's absolutely no secret that Manchester United are interested in signing Barcelona midfielder Frankie de Jong, but Declan Rice offers them an interesting alternative. The two players are a little different in how they like to play, but both like operating in a similar place on the field. 
but players like playing in a middle two and love to drive up the field with the ball at their feet. As of now though, it does seem like the Red Devils are most keen on Frankie de Jong and he does look like the cheaper option than Declan Rice. It remains to be seen how Man United handle this situation in the coming weeks. Man United make Christian Eriksen bid as Dane admits his considering transfer offers. Manchester United have made an offer to sign Christian Eriksen who will be soon a free agent according to reports. The Dane signed a short term deal with Brantford back in January but will be able to consider his options this summer. Eriksen remains a quality operator having returned to the Premier League from Inter Milan in West London the 30-year-old was able to aid the B's survival bid. Brentford won 7 out of the 11 matches in which Eriksen featured, including a win at Chelsea, with his influence over games proving he can still cut it for a top side. United are in the market for midfield recruits, and whilst Frankie de Jong is on the radar, Eriksen is also being considered according to The Athletic. The player himself admits he will be weighing up his next move, he told via play. I have different offers and options which we are considering and then we make a decision. I would love to play Champions League football again. I know how much fun it is but it isn't essential for me. United have seen several players depart in recent weeks which has hit their midfield options. United are yet to make any signings this summer ahead of an Old Trafford rebuild. Last term Eriksen trained with Ajax's reverses prior to Brentford signing him to a short-term deal, Ten Hag was in charge at the time and is looking to make a quick impact at Old Trafford. Signing Eriksen would greatly be helpful under the current circumstances as we would not have to incur any cost to finalize a transfer. Thomas Frank's side are looking to retain him beyond the summer but the midfielder has already admitted that he is contemplating the other options that he has as well. Now we have to wait and see what the response from the former Inter Milan man will be in the coming weeks. A favorable response would see our midfield get boosted by Eriksen's creativity, but whether that is the case or not would only be known in due time. Frankie de Jong admits he is happy at Barcelona. Frankie de Jong says Barcelona are the biggest club in the world as Manchester United remain locked in talks over a £65 million move for the Holland star. The Dutch playmaker impressed in the 3-2 Nations League win over Wales in Rotterdam on Tuesday night. Afterwards, De Jong was asked about his future and if he was flattered by the interest from new United boss Eric Ten Hag. To which the 25-year-old said, You are always flattered when teams show interest in you as a player. I am at the biggest club in the world at the moment and I feel fine there, so no news. United have not made a formal bid yet, but Ten Hag is keen to work with midfield ace Frankie de Jong again after a successful spell together at Ajax. Wales boss Robert Page called de Jong's dazzling performance at the Dequip Stadium phenomenal. Meanwhile, reports yesterday from Spain claimed United are closing on signing de Jong. According to us, Negotiations with Barcelona are reaching the decisive phase with the Catalan giants hoping to pick up around £69 million for the player. This allows Barca to raise funds and lower their wage bill with the club still struggling financially. Barca boss Xavi also has his eye on a Spanish midfielder that he'd like to replace De Jong. Xavi is a great admirer of Valencia ace Carlos Soler. Fabrizio Romano confirms Manchester United interest in Antony. According to popular Italian journalist Fabrizio Romano, Manchester United are interested in signing Brazilian winger Anthony from Ajax but have not made a bid yet. Anthony joined Ajax from Sao Paulo in 2020 and has since then gone on to become one of the best young wingers in Europe over the past few years. The Brazilian forward is undoubtedly one of the most talented forward players in the world right now. The 22-year-old forward has played 33 games for the Eredivisie club this season, scoring 12 goals and providing 10 assists across all competitions. The Brazilian has truly blossomed under Eric Ten Hag at Amsterdam and could be ready for his big move. With Ten Hag now moving to Manchester United, he wants to bring his talented winger to Old Trafford, but no bid has been made yet to Ajax. Anthony is extremely versatile and can play on either wing and has all the qualities required to succeed in the Premier League. 
However, he may take time to adapt to the rigorous of English football and the United faithful will have to be patient with him. Anthony to Man United sounds like an interesting prospect. It remains to be seen if a move materializes for him though. I will be uploading daily Man United news, so keep your eyes on the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.